it down when I'm pulling up. Come around when I'm pulling up. In my town and I'm pulling up. Ready for anything, anyone. Know that I get it done. In the bands, I be pulling up. Tell your friends, cause I'm pulling up. Ready or not, I be pulling up. Remember, they said I'm not good enough. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the NBA Live 19 franchise with the Phoenix Suns. And here we are taking on the Milwaukee Bucks, continuing this farewell season. And back and forth game going on here on the road. Milwaukee takes a little lead, they're up 5 points at this point. Devin Booker gonna drain the 3. Get us within two points and under a minute to play here. A big shot for Chris Middleton. 111-106 and then another nice shot right there, but it does not go down. And the Bucks will come away victorious. Chris Middleton leads them with 28-11. and 11. Giannis only had 17. 22 for Omari Spellman and 15 for Brogdon. For our squad, 31 and 13 for DeAndre Ayton, 23 for Triple J, 14 for both McCoon and Booker, and 12 for Keon Burris. However, we come away with a loss in that one. Then we go on the road once more, taking on the Golden State Warriors, the Big Bad Warriors with Chris Dapps. And this is another game going back and forth all the way through. We take the lead at the end and we do not let it go. 10 point win for us on the road against these Warriors. 19 points for Chris Stapp. 17 and 14 boards for Willie Hernan Gomez. 15 for Dylan Brooks and Stephen Curry. Curry had 13 assists to go with those points. For us, 36 points for Devin Booker, 23 for McCoon, 22 and 13 for DeAndre Ayton, and 15 for Triple J. Not a bad game at all. We'll take the dub right there, and we'll move on to face the Spurs, a very balanced squad. They have Bradley Beal over there now. They have DeJounte Murray. They have DSJ over there. There's a lot of big players on that squad. And they have a lead. And we're going to have to jump into this game as well. They're up by four on us. And there's Emmanuel McCullough driving the lane for two. Cutting the lead in half. Now just 30 seconds to play. McCoon in trouble. Gets it to McCullough. Good ball movement. And then Burris on the inside. No good, but he gets his own board and put back for the tie with 22 seconds to play. Now tied and 14 seconds, and that's going to be stolen away by McCoon, who's going to get it over to Booker with just 7 seconds to play, and Booker drives the lane and puts it in with 3.6 to go. Final shot for the Spurs is way off near half court, and Phoenix stealing the win here on the road against the Spurs. 28 points for Casey McCoon, 21 for Booker, including the game winner. 13 for both Cameron Bryan and Jamal Murray. Murray added 10 assists to that as well. For the Spurs, we had 41 and 11 for Bradley Beal, and it wasn't enough. 14 and 15 from Wesley McGee. So we will now move on, and we will be home for the New Orleans Pelicans. Another really good squad. We know we've faced them in the playoffs before. And they're actually no match for us in this game. We roll, steamroll right through them, 127 to 90. Taking a look at the box score in this one, the Pelicans had Julius Randle with 33 and 11. After that, there was really nobody getting anything done. I mean, Kemba had 13. There was a couple other guys in double digits, but not high double digits. For us, we had 38 points from Devin Booker, 23 from McCoon, 18 for Triple J, 18 and 13 for Murray, and 17 from Cameron Bryan. So a lot of guys getting some high double-digit points in that one. Then we would be home for the Denver Nuggets, another team we often face in the playoffs. Of course, them with Joel and Bede. So, very tough squad for us to face. And they're actually kicking our ass until we get to the fourth quarter. We start to come back a little bit. Now it's a three-point game. And nice little put back there for Cameron Bryan. That will put us down a point. 
We get the good defense, and Bryant again with another huge dunk. The crowd goes wild. It's a one-point game. Now Denver has a lead, 101-98, and look at that. Schaefer able to get inside. It's a one-point game. Now turn around. That's going to be missed, and the board for Bryant. He's going to get that thing out to Tilski. And Tilski going to pass it over to Devin Booker, who is just going to straight up facialize for the game winner. 103-101, Suns come away with the win. Devin Booker hitting a game winner again, his second of this episode. 28-16 for Embiid, 18-10 for Parrish Ingram. Almost a triple-double for Parrish Ingram. But it wasn't going to be enough for what the Suns put out there, which, let's get into what they did put out there. We put out 32 points from Devin Booker, 16 from Triple J, 16 and 12 for McCoon, 11 for Cameron Bryan, and some good play off the bench. Cameron Bryan with a plus-minus of 18, playing very well. Now we'll go on to face the Houston Rockets at home as a nice little home stand for us against some tough tough teams. And here we go. It is a lead for us. Then the Rockets take it in the third quarter. They're not relinquishing it to us in the fourth. We're going to have to go out there and take it as Schaefer is going to take some contact, get the bucket and the foul with 35 seconds to play. Tied at 105. Last shot for the Rockets is no good. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Eventually kicked over to Devin Booker, who is going to nail the shot with 2.7 on the clock, and that is how it would end. 107-105, Devin Booker's third game winner of this episode. Clint Capella threw out 36 points and 10 boards, 27 points for James Harden, 9 and 11 boards for Mitchell Robinson. So a lot of center play for the Rockets in this one. Not a lot of shooting going on for them. Looking at how we did, it was the DeAndre Ayton show. 30 points, 11 boards, 16 points, 10 assists for Devin Booker. 16 points for Triple J as well in this one. So who will we take on next? It is going to be the Los Angeles LeBrons. So we'll, we'll face LeBron, Lonzo, and Kyle Kuzma. Now we have the lead here pretty much throughout the entire first half. And into the second half and into the fourth quarter. And we do get the victory. 116 to 113. Brandon Ingram with 23. Lonzo Ball with 23. Kuzma with 19 and 13. LeBron really waning. Only played 26 minutes, had 15 points. So for our guys, 30 points and 12 boards for Aiton, 28 and 13 boards for McCoon, 18 points for Booker, 16 and 13 assists for Murray. So, really good play by our guys. We come away with a win there as well. Now, the Milwaukee Bucks again for the second time in the episode. This time we are at home. They beat us the first time. We decide to go after a little bit of revenge. Let's see if we can be successful in coming away with that. Into the fourth quarter, they take the lead on us. We got to go in again. We're down five points with just over a minute to play. And it's going to be Tilski with the big three. He's crazy about it. Five second half points so far. Now with just two seconds, Booker with the last shot for the win. It's good. Devin Booker with his Fifth game winner of the episode. I'm pretty sure it was his fifth, fourth or fifth, something like that. Giannis Antetokounmpo with 35 points, 20 and 10 for Middleton, 18 points for Brogdon. Not going to be enough to stop the Suns from coming back on you. 27 for Devin Booker, 17, 12 for Aiton, 16 for Triple J, 15 for Casey, 14 for Murray, and 11 for our six man Keon Burris. Wow, what a stunning episode. Look at all those dubs. Wow. 36 and 15, we have certainly improved. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to drop a like and sub if you're new. Plenty more coming your way.